It is a great pleasure to have back in the 207 kitchen one of our favorite chefs, Vito Marcello from Bellini's Restaurant in North Conway. And as you can see, Vito has Valentine's Day on his mind. This looks absolutely fantastic. What are we making today, Chef? Chicken saltambocca alla romana. Oh, another Swedish recipe, eh? Yeah, it's right from Rome. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> Start away. Okay, we're going to crank up this frying pan to a medium-high heat. And we're going to start with this delicious extra virgin olive oil from Umbria. I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit on now, this Now, is this here. a recipe, or, there, or is there something similar to this that you serve at the restaurant? We serve this at the restaurant. We'll, okay. we'll have a Valentine's night, I can tell you that. I would imagine so. <laughs> okay, we've lightly floured and dusted our chicken with, uh, with flour. White pepper, salt, we want to coat it lightly. We don't want it clumpy. I'm going to get the excess flour off because it'll make this chicken stick to the pan. Now, those are nice and thin. Did you. We mallet, we pounded the, the chicken on a little bit. bit. Just okay. Pounded a little bit. As you notice, I use tongs. If you're going to use your hands, make sure you wash them after you're done handling the raw chicken. We don't want to touch raw chicken and touch anything else. Very good. All right. Okay, we're going to get it. We're going to let this cook up a little bit more before we turn this. Remember, we're gonna turn this once. Once you put the prosciutto and the chicken on, the dish is finished, you can't do anything else. Or oh, if you do want to cook it, you can put it in the oven and bake it, finish it off in the oven. Okay, but you, don't wanna, you don't wanna keep flipping you it don't to keep, check it. Absolutely, you want, you want an internal temperature of 160, minimum of 160. Okay. You don't wanna overcook it either because the chicken will dry out. Okay, dope. That's about ready to turn over. Mm, it smells really good. And it is. We'll definitely save the day, Rob. Rob, can you give me that platter, please? I would be delighted to. All right, what do okay, we got here? What we're going to do first off, this dish calls for sage, which is one of the staple ingredients to a salt and bocal alla romano. What does, uh, uh, forgive me if I butchered, salt and bocal? It needs to jump in your mouth. A lot of flavors. Yeah. A lot of flavors to jump in your mouth. It, that's what it means in English? Yes. yes. Jump in your mouth? To jump in your mouth. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we're going to add a prosciutto. All right. Here, I can hold this for you. Anyway. Great. Thank you. Work on the other part. Great assistant, there, Rob. Well, no. <laughs> but I can at least I can at least hold a platter. So we're going to get you the Bellini some. Then we're going to film you cooking a Bellini's. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love that. That would be a good time. Uh, you might like that. I might like that. I think your customers would be uh, deeply, if they knew you there, they'd be deeply tickled. They'd be tickled if you were there. Are you kidding? Okay. I'm going to finish this off with adding another piece of sage over the chicken. Over the, over the mozzarella, that is, I'm sorry. Over the mozzarella. And we're going to add on uh, spices and ingredients. We're going to add a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. Okay. That just goes right into the pan. Right into the pan. Flat Italian parsley. Oh, if you're looking for a dish with color, this, this nails it. This is beautiful. This nails it. We're going to add a little bit of butter, not too much. As you know, I'm not crazy about cooking with a lot of butter. You tend to use olive oil. Olive oil, butter, absolutely. Yes. Olive oil. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Tiny bit. You know me and salt, we don't get along. That's right. You, you're getting There's you enough of it in the cheese, enough of salt in the, in the cheese, the prosciutto. So you use that very sparingly. White peppercorns. We're cracking white peppercorn over this dish. Okay. And then we're going to add our mushrooms. I have a portobello, a cremini, a shiitake, and a nice white mushroom, my blend. And there's no one mushroom that you need to put in there. It's what you like. That's a generous amount of mushrooms. Yeah, of course. I love mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> love mushrooms. You didn't notice there's not too much that I don't love about <laughs> Italian food. No, I don't think I've found anything yet. Now we're going to add some wine and we're going to reduce the chicken to a point where it's cooked and the cheese will start to melt mm -hmm. and drape over. Okay, can you back up just a moment? Sure. That's so just some white cooking wine? White cooking wine. We're gonna add some chicken stock. Ah, oh, I can smell the wine. It should take you no longer than eight to 10 minutes to cook the okay. entire dish complete. Okay. to make it complete. We're going to start playing up the spinach as this cooks, as the rest of these mushrooms cook. 
Well, we're going to plate the spinach up first. Ed, what have we done with the spinach? What Sauteed is this? our spinach in extra virgin olive oil. Okay. So just spinach and olive oil? Spinach, olive oil, garlic, fresh garlic. Very straightforward. That looks wonderful. We're going to just a tiny bit more of this extra virgin olive oil. We were talking. We'll float it over the top. You mentioned a moment ago that there's not much that you don't like in Italian cooking. Is there anything that you really don't care for? I love it all. <laughs> I'm going to get ready to plate this up, and then we're going to finish it by garnishing the dish okay. with some hard-boiled eggs that have been cut and wedged. Okay, you ready? Oh, absolutely. Bring oh, it on. Why don't you hold, hold that? Nice. Beautiful. Whole chicken. Oh, it's we're gonna finish. We're just gonna have, we're just gonna cook these mushrooms another moment uh, or two. So we put that up. All right, while uh, Vito puts the final touches on here with the garnish of the hard-boiled eggs, we are, as always, going to tell you where to go to get this recipe. And it's pretty simple. You just go to the 207 Kitchen part of our website, WCSH6.com or WLBZ2.com, and there you will find the full recipe for Chef Vito Marcello's chicken... Alla Romano. Alla Romano. Salt and bocca, alla Salt Romano. Salt and bocca. It'll jump in your mouth with all that olive oil, all those fabulous spices, the prosciutto, the chicken, the mozzarella. Thanks for having me back. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And stay with us. We will be back with more of 207 right after this. It's time to eat.